Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, a severe weather threat has ended, and that should be it for the month of May in terms of any kind of big storm threats. And it was a relatively quiet one compared, or well, relative to the fact that it's our peak uh, of so the severe weather season. And we saw some interesting clouds out there today. Chris Conley, who is a great storm chaser, he's chased storms for us over the years. He heads out to the plains. Well, he has his own uh, 270 Drones Aerial Imagery Company now. And so when he's out chasing, he's in the vehicle, but he also gets his drones up in the air and got a great shot of one of the shelf clouds coming across the farm fields of southern Illinois into southwestern Indiana late this afternoon. We see these quite often around here during the storm season, but more often than not, they do not produce severe weather. They can, but usually just some strong gusty winds. And that was the case uh, late this afternoon as that leading edge of showers and thunderstorms moved into the area. Great to have Chris out there with uh, some nice shots like that. And before the storms arrived, low to mid 80s. It was kind of a muggy day, kind of a typical late spring day, but it's not going to feel like late spring over the next uh, few days as temperatures will be on the way down. But the alerts are off the board and we should be in good shape from here on out, at least in terms of any kind of significant weather. Live first warning Doppler showing uh, very little lightning left, still some moderate rain in these shades of yellow in the south, southern and eastern fringes of the tri-state, but the rain will be scattering out some overnight. Evansville just picked up about 0.15 inches so far. North of 64, though, in southern Illinois, we've had some heavier amounts. That's where the storms got going a little bit earlier this afternoon. Northeastern Wayne County, two and a half to three inches of rain, and far northern Edwards County getting close to three inches of rain also, and beneficial rain considering how dry it's been. Here's how the day played out. The fog burned away. We broke to a mix of sun and clouds, and there comes that line of showers and thunderstorms rolling through uh, very late in the afternoon, and now just some light rain out there in 67. The dew point's close behind with a south-southeast wind at six miles per hour. We've got temperatures right now uh, basically in the mid to upper 60s. We're going to fall down into the low 60s by daybreak tomorrow morning. And as we check out the bigger picture here with Storm Tracker, a little severe weather is still uh, rumbling well down to the uh, southwest, but uh, this system kind of on the way out in terms of any kind of significant uh, severe weather, but a couple of uh, watches and warnings down there. Uh, we've got the, the big storms to our east right now, but still a lot of moisture coming in behind this system. So scattered showers uh, will kind of diminish some overnight, but they'll still be around at least through early tomorrow afternoon. So keep the rain gear handy. High temperatures will be much cooler, upper 60s to low 70s around lunchtime, then falling off in the afternoon. But the scattered showers will diminish later Later in the day, we'll still have a few around tomorrow night as temperatures drop to around 50 by daybreak Saturday, which will have a lot of clouds with it, maybe a little bit of clearing in the afternoon, and cold high temperatures of 60 to 65. That'll be the high on Saturday, but we do clear it out Saturday night, drop into the low to mid 40s by Sunday, but then mostly sunny skies and high temperatures into the low to mid 70s Sunday afternoon. So showers will diminish some overnight, low 60s tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, scattered showers diminishing later in the day, windy and much cooler, 66 to 77. Seven day forecast. We've got clouds to start the day on Saturday, giving way to a little sun later in the afternoon. A breezy, we'll call it cold for this time of the year. 63 the high, 44 Sunday morning, but mostly sunny, 74 Sunday afternoon. Memorial Day looks great, partly cloudy. We warm it up to around 80, and then scattered showers and thunder showers return for the middle of next week as highs remain around 80 degrees. So good to get these storms through without any trouble, uh, but we've got uh, a chilly start to the weekend. It'll be a refreshing start on Saturday. Do, do do all your plans away from the water on okay. Saturday, right. then get out in the pool and the lake and the river Sunday and Monday. All right. Thanks a lot, okay. Wayne.